Comac has just shaken the aviation world, announcing plans to build the wide-body C-939 aircraft with the claim that it will eclipse the Airbus A350 and Boeing 777. This bold statement has made a dramatic impact across the industry, raising the question, why this aircraft can change the aviation industry, how it impact Airbus and Boeing. Let's find out in today's episode. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the commercial aircraft market with models that set high standards for efficiency, range, and passenger comfort. However, the C-939 is expected to break this status quo with advanced aerodynamics, cutting edge materials, and modern avionics systems, aiming to deliver superior performance and efficiency. It promises to be a game changer in the long haul aircraft segment. The Comac aircraft is a testament to China's rising power in high tech manufacturing and its ambition to challenge the monopoly of Boeing and Airbus. According to the Hong Kong based South China Morning Post, SCMP for short, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, which manufactures the C919, has outlined preliminary designs for the C939. However, it will take many years before these initial ideas can be realized into a testable prototype. Numerous reports indicate that it will have a capacity of up to 400 passengers and could compete with the Airbus A350 or the Boeing 777. So what exactly does it have that allows it to compete with the A350 and the 777? One of the most notable features of the Comac C939 is its impressive range and fuel efficiency. This aircraft is designed for long haul flights with minimal fuel consumption, a crucial factor for airlines looking to reduce operating costs and minimize their carbon footprint. This has been achieved through the use of lightweight composite materials and advanced engine technology. If airlines love the Airbus A350 and Boeing 777 for their impressive performance, they certainly cannot overlook this aircraft. It is equipped with next generation turbofan engines which enhance fuel efficiency and reduce noise and emissions, suiting the global trend towards greener aviation solutions. This focus on sustainability is not only a response to regulatory pressures, but also a strategic move to attract environmentally conscious airlines and passengers. Although not much is currently known about the C-939, the SCMP clarifies that this wide-body aircraft will be launched as a competitor to the Airbus A350 and Boeing 777, configured to carry up to 400 passengers per flight. It is the largest aircraft developed by China. Among the three main aviation groups, China Southern, China Eastern, and Air China, all their subsidiaries operate more than 170 units of these two aircraft models. Regarding passenger experience, the Comac aircraft will not be disappointed. The aircraft features a spacious cabin layout with wider seats and larger windows, providing passengers with greater comfort and better views throughout the flight. This design includes the latest in-flight entertainment systems, offering a variety of options to keep passengers entertained on long-haul flights. Additionally, it is equipped with an advanced air filtration system ensuring cleaner and healthier cabin air a feature that has become increasingly important in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. These enhancements reflect Comac's commitment to providing superior travel experiences and an understanding of changing passenger expectations. The launch of the C-939 comes at a time when the aviation industry is undergoing significant changes. The COVID-19 pandemic has transformed air travel, forcing airlines and manufacturers to adapt to a new reality and emerging trends. The demand for more efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft has never been higher, and the aircraft appears to be a timely response to these needs. Moreover, the geopolitical landscape has also impacted the aviation sector, with trade tensions and changing alliances driving countries to seek greater self-sufficiency in critical industries. For China, the development of the C-939 is not just a commercial venture, but a strategic initiative to strengthen its position in the global aviation market. Want more news, analysis, and discussion about aviation? Stay ahead with our latest videos. Subscribe now and never miss out on the action. Thank you. In parallel, the C929, another wide body aircraft by Comac, is also designed for international routes and is speculated to rival models like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, a twin engine wide body aircraft. Similarly, the Airbus A350, with its focus on passenger comfort and operational efficiency, has set high standards in the industry. However, the C939 brings unique features such as advanced materials and cutting-edge engine technology, providing a competitive edge. Additionally, 
Comac's strong pricing strategy could make it an attractive option for airlines looking to expand their fleets without breaking the bank. Initially, the C929 was announced as a collaboration between Comac and the United Aircraft Corporation. However, UAC's involvement in this aircraft production has been questioned since Russia launched a special military operation in Ukraine on February 20th, 22. Sources suggest that UAC has withdrawn from the aircraft production program, but Comac has dismissed concerns that this will delay the launch. UAC's withdrawal from the C929 production program does have some impact, but we can manage it. It's not entirely negative. The work on this aircraft is still ongoing and progressing smoothly, Comac stated in a declaration. The development of the Comac C-939 is not without its challenges. The aviation industry is notoriously complex, requiring significant investment, technical expertise, and rigorous testing. In the context of increasing trade conflicts with the West, which have already impacted industries such as electric vehicles and solar panels, there are concerns that similar measures could be implemented to restrict the procurement of components for the civil aviation industry, certification processes, and technology development. The first challenge, according to China's Global Times, is that at least 40% of the aircraft's components are sourced internationally. This reliance on global suppliers means Comac could face significant supply chain issues, particularly as it ramps up production. Even the C919's engines and many of its systems come from foreign suppliers. It highlights the potential vulnerabilities in the supply chain for the C939 as well. Secondly, Comac's production speed is very slow. For example, with the C919, China has only produced 10 aircraft since 2011. Thirdly, pilot training also poses challenges for airlines when considering the C-939 or even the other Chinese aircraft. This may be a major reason why airlines rarely switch between Airbus and Boeing and was a significant factor in the two 737 MAX incidents. Lastly, political factors may come into play. The U.S. government has imposed restrictions and tariffs on many types of Chinese products. Adding aircraft to that list and scoring political points is not far-fetched. Regardless of the quality of the C919, the fact that it is produced by a Chinese state-owned company makes it controversial. However, the company has shown incredible resilience and determination in overcoming these obstacles. Comac is expanding its manufacturing base in Shanghai to improve production efficiency and support commercial operations for domestically produced large aircraft. Comac is also actively seeking international recognition for the C919, including certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. This collaborative approach not only enhances the aircraft's technical capabilities, but also facilitates its smooth integration into global aviation networks. The introduction of the Comac C939 marks a shift in global aviation power dynamics. Traditionally dominated by Western companies, the industry now sees a significant competitor from China. This diversification is expected to boost competition and innovation, benefiting airlines and passengers alike. The C-939 has garnered positive responses, with experts praising its design and market potential. In particular, airlines are showing interest, seeing its promise to enhance operations and improve passenger experience. In addition, industry analysts are watching closely to see its impact on Boeing and Airbus strategies. China is the country with the largest published research output in peer-reviewed journals across many scientific material fields in many areas of physics, multiple engineering, and computer science. They are also importing a large number of foreign researchers and professors. Both Airbus and Boeing are facing significant supply chain issues, leading to production delays and increased costs. This creates a chance for C-939 to weave through in this market and attract the airlines to this aircraft. An important factor, Airbus started much later than Boeing and once stated they wanted to accumulate experience. But a turning point came when they began applying their program from testing to operations. Now, Airbus is a direct competitor to Boeing. Similarly, Comac's C-939 programs will take more time to complete, like Airbus or Boeing, but that indicates that the aerospace industry will welcome a new competitor in the future after several years. Therefore, Comac's efforts to establish this aircraft manufacturer as a major third competitor are only a matter of time. Comac's C-939 program in the high-performance long-haul for aircraft sector not only highlights its capabilities, but also showcases China's growing ambition to compete with major Western manufacturers. If you enjoyed this video, 
please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below to let us know if you're impressed with the new aircraft. We want to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching and see you next time.